Hi again guys, HCR Republic here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to fill your HPA tanks with a scuba tank. So right here I have an Amped Custom, uh, 3000 PSI, as you can tell right here, this is where your PSI is listed. This is the nozzle that you'll be filling it from the scuba tank. Now this is a 3000 PSI SLP, and right here you can see that it's filled to just about 1000 PSI, so I'm just going to fill it up a little bit for this demonstration. But basically, let's go over the tank and how the tank works. So up here, this is your two O-rings, and this is where your regulator would go. These two are uh, valves. If you overfilled the tank, these are burst disc valves, so they would burst out and expel all the air if you over overfilled uh, the tank. And right here, this is the nozzle that you're going to connect your fill station to. The component that you'll need to connect your scuba tank to your HPA tank is this uh, fill station for the scuba tank. This is a ninja fill station which you can get on Amazon. There's other ones on Amazon as well. But basically this little clip would go into this nozzle and from there it would fill the tank and you have your regulator to see how much air is coming through. And here's your bleed valve. You're going to want to make sure that's closed. And this is where you would unscrew this to fill it on, get it on the scuba tank. Now from the top you are going to want to take your fill station Simply put the pointed end onto the curved piece, line it up, and tighten. You're going to want to make sure that is tight. Now, first you're going to want to make sure your bleed valve is closed. You're going to take your tank, simply line it up here, uh, unbuckle that, plug it back in, just like that. And now you're going to want to make sure that's closed. You're going to watch this regulator to see how much air you're putting in. You're now going to open up your uh, scoop tank, which I'm going to do now. And so I just filled that up a little bit, and you'll obviously hear the hissing, and the tank will start to get warm. Now I'm not going to fill it up all the way because I still have some air in here since the last time I filled it. Now after you're done this process, you're going to want to open up your bleed valve. And now all the air is expelled out of your fuel station. You're going to want to close that back up. Make sure your scuba tank is closed. Now you're going to want to unplug the tank. And obviously, as you can see, it used to be at one. Now it's about two. And so after that, you just unscrew your fill station off your scuba tank, which I'll do right now. And so just like that, you have now filled your HPA tanks right from your house. Now the benefits of using this is you don't have to uh, fill it at the place. Let's say their uh, filling station goes down, it's not working that day. Or you don't want to pay the 5 to $10, depending on where you go to get these filled. Now that's it. Thanks for watching, and remember to comment, like, and subscribe.